In a world where everyone is talking about becoming their dream self, their higher self. But in reality, like, what does that even really mean? I honestly feel like that looks different based on whatever you want or whatever you're desiring for your life. So, my name is Sierra. And at the age of 25, in the middle of the pandemic, I had this crazy realization. I decided that I needed to make some changes and take a leap of faith. It took a little bit to kind of psych myself into it, but by the time 2022 rolled around, I packed up and I moved to Dallas. No plans for real, just me, my dog, and we were out. The journey kind of started at 25, you know, that realization of where you get your frontal lobe and all that good stuff, and now I'll be turning 29 in 14 days. This has been a complete whirlwind. And while I'm not yet at my final destination, I'm exactly where I need to be right now. So join me throughout this video where I give you some practical tips on becoming your higher self because the beauty of this journey is you can always reinvent yourself. So welcome to Sierra on Social. Let's begin to explore your higher self. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. So today we're gonna be talking about how to become your dream self, how to become your higher self, how to become the girl of your dreams. And I know this is something that is pretty popular on social media now. But like this is some stuff people have been doing for years. People have always been envisioning their self higher in higher places and getting to those higher places. This is not something that is new. I envision myself where I am now, literally maybe last year. I'm like, okay, I wanna move to Dallas, move to Dallas. I want a cute apartment, got the cute apartment. I want a nice ring, got the ring. Become the higher self. So I do have a few things that I want to work on for myself this year, but I want to give you guys a few tips that can kind of help you start to become her now because she's not as far away as you guys think. Like the things that you want are so much closer. Like you just have to reach out and touch it, honestly. So first things first, you have to change your mindset. Like literally ditch the negative beliefs. And when I say ditch them, they got to go. Because a lot of times people, family members, bullies, friends, plant negative seeds in your mind and you don't even realize that these seeds have grown. Like you can just be like, this is my example. Oh, I'm just sensitive, I'm sensitive, I'm sensitive. Because everybody told me I was sensitive. I'm not fucking sensitive. They just had me messed up. I'm calling that out because I'm not identifying with that. I'm not sensitive, I have boundaries. I know what I like and what I don't like. I know what doesn't feel good to me. That does not make me sensitive. So you're gonna call out that negative word because it does not belong to me anymore. So, ditch the negative beliefs. And this can be like, I feel like you have to be self-aware to do this. And you have to be, you have, well, you have to be self-aware because like, I feel like a lot of people around me, my family and some friends like, we all have this negative self-talk and you literally cannot talk to yourself like that. Like next time you start saying something negative, be like, hey, don't talk to my higher self like that. Because if you are tearing yourself down now, you ain't gonna get up there because you're, you're slowing down your process and you, you're just making it worse for yourself when you don't need to. Like you need to get in alignment. So next, I want you guys to take some time to really think about who is she? What does she look like? What is she? How does she dress? What's her career? What does she wear? I think I already said that. What is her workout routine? What kind of things does she eat and drink? Like, get so specific. What is her favorite perfume scent? What is her go-to lip color? Like, really think about those things and write them down. Nothing is set in stone until you write it down. And even the Bible verse says, write the vision and make it plain. You have to write these things down 
to confirm it with God. Like legit, legit, like write it down so it can come true. We have so many things in our head and we don't even realize what we actually want because there's so much stuff going on in our head. So the things that you specifically want out of this person that you're trying to be, write it down and get so specific. When I say so specific, to the color of the armpits, like get specific, okay? Next you're going to start to do visualization exercise. And that is simply like a guided meditation. I like to do my guided meditations in the shower or the sauna. I don't know, it just gives me a special kind of feeling because like the environment is kind of changed because like in the shower, it's hot, it's steamy. I like to take my showers in the, in the dark so I can literally really visualize what I'm trying to see. Also, in the sauna, it's like super hot so it's like, you're sweating, you're trying to really stay like concentrated so you can stand to be in there. So really take your time to do something enjoyable while you're in the sauna. Take the time to really think about who the person that you want to be and like start to feel it. Go through like a day in the life of this person. Like what time do you guys wake up? Where do you go work out? What's your favorite gym? Do you do classes? What kind of car are we driving? Like really start to think about that kind of stuff. I mean, the more you get in the vibration and you start to feel it, it's that much closer. And I promise you that. Like, it's so crazy. Like me, this is just a funny story. So me and John um, both went to Michigan State. Our paths always crossed, but like, I had a boyfriend in the beginning and then once we finally broke up, like I just so happened to run into John. And then from that point, like I never really kind of like entertained him because I had like this bad social anxiety, but I always thought in my head like, oh, I hope one day, like I know one day we'll get together kind of thing. So it's like, I would see him out on other dates with other girls. And it was just like, we just always end up seeing each other, like literally out. And then like, I want to say maybe a year or two later, like once we actually had a real conversation and started to talk, we never stopped. Like we became inseparable. But that is something that I low key really felt in my heart. Like I literally was driving on the freeway. And if you was Michigan State, the 127 going to my apartment and I was listening to Exchange by Bryson Tiller. And when he said, Lord, please save her for me, I'm like, Lord, please save him for me. And I don't know, I just felt like this weird connection with him. So I don't know, that's a tangent. That's a whole tangent in itself. But when I say like, I really felt that and visualized that, and look, here we are engaged. So, and the last thing that you have to do is start to be intentional about the person that you want to be. And honestly, like you have to really walk the walk and talk the talk. So that's really just acting as if. Like some of these things that you wrote down, you can start to do that now. Like you can start to do that, those workouts. You can start to look at the kind of cars. You can start to shop around for perfumes. You can start to work, you know, different hairstyles for yourself. So like those are little things that you can start right now to become closer and closer to the person that you are trying to be. And the thing is, I see a lot of people like on the internet talking about setting goals and putting timelines on things. Like you have to have a specific goal. It has to have a time frame. But like, why limit yourself to a time frame? I really feel like when you put a time on something, you do not allow God to work within your within his magic because like, well, within his powers. But when you think about it, it's like, oh, um, oh, I want this in five years or I want this in 10 years. Why? When you can have that now, there are certain things that do have time restrictions. So say if like you're in school or you're trying to become a doctor or a lawyer or something like you have specific time, time constraints to do those kind of things. But for small things, like for the person that you want to become, you can start to do those little things now. And even when it comes to like how you treat yourself and what you put on yourself and where you go shopping and those kind of things are important. But another thing I want you guys to really think about is think about the environments that you're in. Think about the company you keep. Thinking about your friends, like the kind of conversations you have. You have to, it might sound like, oh, I'm being stuck up or something, but no, you know where you belong, baby. So really be... I would say picky about where you are, what kind of company you keep, because the company you keep 
it's gonna have a, it's gonna have an effect on you just think about it i know your mom told you you can't eat everybody's cooking because you don't know what they're putting in it you don't know if they're washing their hands you don't know what kind of prayers they're praying over it like i had like paranoid people in my family like you have to be aware of that kind of stuff and that same concept goes for your life the people you hang around will have an influence on you whether you believe it or not so be mindful of the people you have around. And I'm not saying to just be cutting everybody off. Put people in specific boxes to where they need to go. Because at the end of the day, if you want to be your higher self, you need to be in the rooms that you need to be in. And you can't be in those rooms if you down with your other friends or wherever you ain't supposed to be. So I have some specific goals for myself. For becoming my higher self so i plan to work on those this year and i plan to start to plant those seeds and see those things this year i'm not going to put any time restraints on the things that i want i just know it's on the way i'm getting and i'm being intentional and getting in the vibration and getting in the feeling so i know that it's close so you guys need to do the same don't put those time limits on your stuff like who you want to be you could be that now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So me, my